And so if this is a lot, don't worry, you will receive this recording and you will receive the slides so you can study this later. This course for the first time ever, since it is the first time ever, it was at a discounted price. However, it's not always going to be that way. So if anything goes wrong or if I'm asking it to help me out, that's why you got this course at a discounted price so I can try it out for the first time. After this, it is going to be a little different once I'm more seasoned and I know I can give you guys a kick ass focus session. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start my recording from here. Welcome to Social Media Content Creation Workshop for Entrepreneurs. Please tag me on Instagram at TanyaCare underscore at InfluencePRX if you find this helpful and I will share you on my um, Instagram story. I do ask that you just mute the sound so that way nobody can hear what we're talking about. So if you do a video, please mute it. What we're going to talk about today is going to be, Cassie, yes, you will be able to rewatch this. What we're going to talk about today is your brand, what content works and what doesn't, a tutorial of content creation, other apps I recommend, and we'll have about a 20-minute question and answer at the end to answer any questions that you may have about social media in general. So the first thing we're going to go over is your brand. So the first thing I want to share with you is as we're heading into learning about how to create content, how to use Canva, um, how to use these other or what other apps to use, first I want you to focus on what is your niche. The reason being is if you want high engagement, if you want Instagram and Facebook to push your content or even TikTok, every social media platform loves to push out content if you stay in the same niche. So here it says your content on social media will succeed more if you stick to your niche. Write down three, three, three things that your brand focuses on. So right now I want you to take out a pen and a paper and I want you to write down what are three things that your brand focuses on. Mine is social media and business, mom life, and working out. You will not see me posting about food. You will not see me posting about fashion. You will not see me posting about meditation and inspiration. My page is very niche. If you come to my page, all I talk about is social media, mom life, and working out. If you want higher results in the content that you're creating, first get focused on what kind of content are you going to create. Stick within your niche if you want maximum results and if you want to convert followers into sales. What are your goals with your content? Make sure that you are making it clear what you do and how people can buy from you or hire you. This is very, very important because the content that you create should all have the intention of showing who you are, what you do, and what you're about. So stay within your niche. As we go over these content creation tactics, I want you to be very laser focused in knowing that you are creating content to specifically convert your followers into sales and customers. So the next slide here is what content works and what doesn't. So for the next couple minutes, we're going to focus on what works and what doesn't. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use Canva. I'm going to give you a tour into Canva. I'm going to show you how it works. If you already have it, the intermediate part is I'm going to show you how to create Instagram Reels out of quotes and content using Canva. We have used this tactic on a lot of our clients and I can even show you some examples today since I have this screen share capability. And when you turn quotes, instead of just posting a quote or instead of just posting a still graphic, you can make an Instagram reel out of that, out of Canva. So instead so you could get more views, more reach, just because you're posting it as a reel versus as a still graphic. And that's why number one is Instagram Reels. That's the reality of it right now is today, what day is it? June, I think it's June 15. What day is it today? June 15, 2021. Right now, Instagram Reels are the in thing. Instagram Reels is what Instagram is pushing. So we should always utilize Instagram Reels to the fullest because that's what Instagram is pushing. If you want more people to see your content, if you want to reach more people marketing your product services or getting yourself or your company out there, 
utilize Instagram Reels. I do have to tell you, in case I forget later, Instagram Reels, when you're converting a Canva post into Instagram Reels, save it as a JPEG and post it as a still image on Facebook. Facebook does not like graphics that are like five seconds, 10 seconds long that are like little text reels. So you're gonna save the, save the content in Canva as a reel and as a still graphic for Facebook. I will go over that later when I teach you guys how to do that. The second content that works the most is video under 60 seconds. IGTVs do tend to get a little less engagement. However, videos under 60 seconds do well. So if you want to max out your exposure and your engagement, you want to do Instagram Reels. If you don't do Instagram Reels, do a regular video. The third thing that gets the most engagement is going to be high res images and pictures, preferably of you, your family, your dog, um, pretty much pictures of people or pets or you or your family or your coworkers or your team. If it is high res, it is most likely going to get more engagement because it's more clear, it's more bright, it's better quality. However, remember we, ha we live in 2021, our iPhones are great, use portrait mode or make sure that you have great lighting and your iPhone can still take great lighting. The fourth thing that gets, um, so Instagram being the highest engagement, videos being the second, images being the third, after that, what gets engagement too, the fourth best is going to be still graphics and quotes. When you create content in Canva with the templates, or if you just post quotes, that's not going to do as well as an Instagram reel or a video or a picture of you. However, sometimes that content is still very valuable because it's sharing valuable content with our audience. So it's even though it doesn't get as much engagement, it still can be very valuable to post on your feed. And then the fifth, the least performing thing is going to be stock photos and Google photos. There's a lot of websites out there where you can get free stock photos. You can go on Google images and download quotes. I see a lot of people doing this on Instagram and Facebook. That is going to probably get you the least engagement. Stock photos don't get a lot of engagement. Um, Un unoriginal quotes don't get a lot of engagement unless it's a really, really funny meme or it's something that's super, super helpful with the action packed or information packed. However, generally speaking, stock photos and Google photos don't do very well. So that's laying out the outline for today. And so let's go ahead and go over the tutorial. Um, Cammy said, I'm so excited. This is awesome. Me too. And this is when we're going to go into the, the, um, the main part of today's course. So what we're going to do is we are going to go over, um, let me make sure I'm on time really quick. I'm going to go back. Okay. 10, 10. Okay. Perfect. We are right on time. 10, 10 tutorial on content creation. How is everybody liking it? Can you leave me a comment so far? Let me know if you, you're learning things. Um, we're gonna really get into the meat of potatoes right now and go into tutorial. Um, we're gonna go into Canva. So first of all, you're my number one go-to for all things social media. Yes, I've already learned. DJ, believe that in the house, what's up? You're doing amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. Patricia, Simon, awesome. Thank you so much, guys. I'm happy that you're, you're learning a lot. So let's get into it. Yay, thank you, Cassie. Okay, my Cassie is my soon-to-be sister-in-law, so I'll just call her my sister. <laughs> so we're gonna go into the Canva tutorial now. I'm actually going to share screen my Canva with you guys. And I'm going to show you how I create content. Before we do that, I'm gonna turn on my AC really quick because I am blazing hot over here. So awesome. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and go into this. So let's get into this part of it now, tutorial. So Canva serves a variety of purposes from social media to real to content. We're gonna cover, first I'm gonna give you guys a tour to Canva, and then I'm gonna teach you guys how to create 
Instagram posts, Facebook posts, and then I'm going to teach you how to make them animated. I'm also going to teach you guys about Instagram stories and even how to make IGTV cover photos and videos and also how to make anything a reel. Now that's going to be the valuable thing. I have a client that doesn't even have a thousand followers on her Instagram. We just took over her account and we created a post for her and it got 2000 views and it was a happy Memorial Day post. Happy Memorial Day posts do not get a lot of engagement, but we did for her because we converted it into a reel and added a trending song. So I'm going to show you how to make anything a reel. Um, let's see. Uh, Randy Lynn said, I won't be able to pay much attention today. Don't worry, Randy Lynn. You will be getting a link to this video in addition to the slides so you can um, watch it later. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is give you guys a tour of Canva. I'm so happy you guys are like actively talking to me right now because you guys can help me make sure that I am doing everything correctly. If you're like, oh my gosh, your presentation's so cool. Canva, y'all. I made it in Canva. And so you can make anything in Canva. And so I'll go ahead and get started. This is my company, Canva. We create so much information. I mean, we create so much content in Canva for our clients. I do have to tell you, there's another slide later. I, the foundation of everything that I create is usually in Canva. And then from there, I import that design into other apps to make it extra fancy. If I want to, sometimes I just create it in Canva. And I'll share those apps with you later in this presentation. And so here, let's go ahead and give you a tour. So this is Canva. Please comment and tell me if you already are using Canva. And also comment if you are not using Canva. I'd love to hear where everyone's at, if everyone has an account or everyone's not. Cami, you will love Canva. After this, if you like what you see here, um, definitely um, sign up for it. My VA is in there too. Kathy says she loves Canva. Yes, Canva. Randy Lynn said, I'm paying for it. <laughs> awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, great. It looks like a lot of us are in Canva. A few of us are newbies. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a tour. And if you've been using Canva for a while, you will learn uh, when it comes to how I get extra creative and um, create reels in Canva too. So what I'm gonna go, go ahead and do now is give you a tour if you are new to Canva or um, if you have it, but you don't use it a lot. So you can create, if you go to your homepage, you can create anything on here. Um, you can see here's this presentation. I literally created this presentation using Canva. I'm even presenting it from Canva. This is Instagram posts. You can create Instagram posts here. You can create Instagram stories. You can create logos. Um, so those are, and you can also create Facebook. It's kind of out of order, you guys, but you can create so much on here. Flyers, certificates, videos, video collage, business cards, planner. You can create menu, a graph, an invoice, a postcard, um, brochures. You can create so many things on here. But what I'm going to be focusing on today is creating content for social media for entrepreneurs. So we will stick with these. So you can go ahead and click on Instagram posts, and this will give you a square. And here you can see that there's all these templates that are pre-created for you. So if you're new to Canva, this is a huge selling point because all you have to do is click on this and it automatically gives you a, a graphic that you can use. You literally can just double click on this, you can change it, and you can have it say whatever you want. So I'll go ahead and write today's reminder. And then you can say, um, post to your IG stories showing you and your journey. And then you can click on this and you can say accept, or you can say, okay, Oops, sorry guys, I, I backed out of it. Let's see if it saved it. Okay, it didn't, wait, did it save it? 
it didn't save it. It's okay. So I'm going to go back into Canva. I'm going to go into Instagram post. Oh, here it is. Okay. So post your story, Instagram story showing you in your journey. Okay. And then I'll also put done. Okay. So here, so this is your, so you literally can create this as a post. Now I want to go back to my presentation really quick, you guys, and show you something. Joel said, oh, snap, Canvas fire. Yes, it is. That's why I'm like, I got to show everybody this. So I'm going to go into my presentation and show you guys. So remember, still graphics and quotes are going to perform the least best out of all of it other than stock photos still graphics and quotes I consider this a still graphic and uh, a still graphic this will get the smallest um, the smallest amount of engagement Terry Lynn I don't have a referral link but if you do feel free to put yours in there so you can get the referral credit I have not signed up to be a partner with Canva yet if you have, feel free to post it down there so everyone that doesn't have Canva can sign up and you can get credit for it. And that will be on my to-do list for the next one. So back to this. So I created this post. Remember, this is going to perform the least out of all of them. So what you wanna do is you want to, um, so, but sometimes it is valuable because it helps your branding. It gets your message across. Every post is not always about oh my gosh, I, I didn't get the maximum amount of likes and engagement and reach. Sometimes you create content to be strategic on your feed to brand yourself and show who you are, okay? So from here, you can actually resize it. So let's say this is the post that you create. You can also change the colors. So check this out. I have my clients' colors all saved in Canva. This is another great thing about Canva is you can save all of your colors you can create a color palette and you can just save your colors on there. Canva has tons of tutorials on how to do that. I don't wanna spend the time showing you guys how to do that. If you guys request a more in-depth Canva workshop, I'm happy to do that. But for now, I just wanna tell you, you can save all your colors. And here you can see our client's colors that are saved. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and go into the influence media so I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know what? I wanna make this my colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this my colors. And, oh, that doesn't look good. So let's just make it all black. You can customize this and make it whatever color that you want. And check this out. This is an image. So I can actually go, I have my folders here. So you can create different folders and you can upload pictures in there. So you do a photo shoot of yourself. You can create a folder just like I did here. That's called Tanya and it has pictures of me in there. So you can upload all your pictures on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm going to drag this picture here. Oh, that doesn't fit very well. Let me try another one. Oh, I like that one better. Awesome. And now it's a picture of me. I can make this phone big, small, I can move it around. Notice how this template, I used it as a starting point. If you don't wanna use it as a starting point and you just wanna use it as is, go ahead and do that, but you can customize it and make it however you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it how it was. And I'm just going to maybe, I'm like, you know what? I like it like this better. All right, are you guys ready for another tip? So now what I'm gonna do is I, I'm going to say, you know what? Let me go back to my presentation. Instagram Reels does good. Videos under 60 seconds does good. High res images, still graphics quotes. So what I'm going to do, Kemi, you're so cute. Thanks, Danita. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to convert this into a video. I like converting these into videos because when people are scrolling through their feed, it catches their attention. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on animate and it gives me all these different animations on different things that it does. So notice now it's animating this post. Did you guys see that? So now it's making it a video. So notice none is just a still image. And then if I click on stomp, it creates it as a video. 
So this creates your graphics to be more engaging. So when people are scrolling, they actually stop and they look at what you're doing. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to show you guys on this one. I think that's good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is now I'm going to say, all right, I like this as my post. You know what? I'm going to actually add my logo on there. I'm going to go into my folders. I'm going to click on logo. You can save all your logos on here. These are our clients' logos. But for you, it would just be your logos. And so I'm going to go ahead and go in here. I'm going to click on my little Influence PRX logo. You know what? I want to add my logo on here too. And I'll just go ahead and add it on here. By the way, you guys, I'm so much more anal than this. I'm just kind of, this isn't something I would actually post, but I'm just showing you guys how to use Canva and how to create this content. Okay. Um, I would probably like move this down. See, but now I have to get like more specific. Anyways, all right, we'll just leave it like this for now. But I would, I would probably, you know, fix it up a little bit. That looks a little bit better. So, anyways, so now here's this animation. So I, I like, see, so you can do this where it like the photo zooms in, you can do rise where everything goes up. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave it as rise, okay? So I like the rise feature. And what I'm gonna do is I always recommend if you are making this a video, you're gonna click on edit timing and you're gonna make this 10 seconds long. And the reason why I say that is because if you come across a post and it just keeps moving and you can't read it, it's annoying. At least give people 10 seconds to look at your post. Now what we're going to do is we're going to resize this and we're going to make it into an Instagram story. Boom! It automatically made it an Instagram story. So now you have a post for your feed and now you have an Instagram story. I do want to tell you guys that when you post this, you're going to go ahead. So let's pretend you want to download it. You're going to download it as an MP4. You're going to go ahead and download it and it's check it out. It's downloading to my computer. Okay, it's downloading it as a as this, it zooms up, it's 10 seconds long, so it'll loop on your Instagram feed every 10 seconds, but do not post this as an animation on Facebook. Facebook does not like Canva animated content, you will reach like three people, and you're going to be like, why is my engagement so low? So make sure you save this as an MP4 as a video. Now go, and this is for your Instagram post. Now go here and save it as a JPEG and you're gonna download it. And now it's, you're gonna use the JPEG for Facebook and you're going to use the video, the MP4 on Instagram, okay? And if you are like, oh my gosh, it's so many things. Use a scheduling tool. I use Buffer to pre-schedule my content. So all you would do is you would put the Facebook graphic into Buffer to post on Facebook, and you would put the video graphic into Instagram to auto post for you on Instagram. If you guys are interested in learning how to use Buffer and a scheduling tool, feel free to let me know and maybe that'll be my next, my next webinar. So now what we're gonna do is we converted this into an Instagram story. So as you can see, it did it for us, but I would go ahead and move things around so it looks good on Instagram story. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this around. I'm gonna format it like this. Um, you know, I might, I might move the, the, the logo. So I, I'll just probably like move this here. I'll move the logo to the bottom. I'll move this down. See, this is, this is why I'm telling you guys, I'm not gonna take time making it perfect, but you wanna really take time to make sure that your posts look aligned and good. And this is why people hire social media managers. <laughs> Cause it's like, whoa. Okay. Anyways, again, I would not post it like this. I kind of have to reformat it and be a little bit more, um, I don't want to use the word anal, but a little bit more anal about it. Okay. We're just going to pretend this is what I want to post, right? So notice here, I'm going to again, click animate. And let's see, how do I want it to look? So now this is an Instagram story. So it created this into an Instagram story. Okay, so let's say, let's see. They all kind of look similar, you guys, and I don't know. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh it. I'm gonna refresh my screen because I think it's erroring out a little bit. Again, we are gonna try photo zoom. Rise, there we go, now it's doing it. Now it's showing us all the different ways that it'll come up, okay? So let's just say I want the pop feature. Let's just say this is a feature that I like. It's an Instagram story. So again, make sure that you go in and you edit the timing to where it's 10 seconds long. All right, are you guys ready for the pro tip? Let me see if I can go into my presentation. I wanna make sure that I am on track. So let's go back to my timing until 10.30. We have a couple more minutes. Uh, it's okay. We'll cut into the question and answer at the end because I want to finish showing this. So I showed you guys posts with animations. I showed you guys stories with animations. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make IGTV cover photos and videos. Is everyone still with me? Comment in the comment box and let me know. There is a question and answer at the end. So if you would like to uh, ask a question, make sure to write it down and ask at the end. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Terry Lynn, Simon, Robin. Awesome. Melodius, Kajia, Danita. Awesome. Okay. So next up is going to be, so let me start from the beginning. So remember, that was one Instagram post that I created. So if you want to play around with this, look how many templates there are. This is a template. You can drag and drop any picture you want into it. So let me go ahead and just show you. You literally can drag and drop anything. You can do notification. You can animate it and make it a cool post. Um, there's so many things you can do. You can resize it and make it an Instagram story. Now it makes it an Instagram story for you. Again, remember I told you, you have to kind of move it around and make it work. Um, but I just want to show you that that one design, you guys, is a part of so many designs. And this is uh, my, um, my section where this is all the content that we've created for all of our clients and for myself. So again, I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna go to Instagram posts and there's just so much variety. So I just wanted to show you guys that it's not just that one post, there's just so many types of posts that you can create out of here. But keep in mind, and I want to go into uh, my presentation again. Let's see if is it still here. Let's see. So let's see. I want to go back into the pre my presentation. Keep in mind that reels are going to get the most engagement. Videos under 60 seconds are going to get the most engagement. And then high-res images. And then still graphics and quotes. So remember, we want to focus on reels. We want to focus on video. This content, this content creation session, I'm teaching you how to create your own customized content. But as your social media coach, mentor, person that's giving you direction and keeping you notified with what's going on in the social media world, since I'm on my phone, on doing stuff for our clients all the time, I'm here to tell you, reels is going to get you the most. Then it's video, then it's high-res images, and then it is still content like this, okay? And that's why I'm recommending that you convert it into a video format by using this animation feature. And then you wanna extend it out to about seven to 10 seconds as a post or 10 to 15 seconds as a video. So that way you can get the best exposure, the best results using your posts, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys something that I like to do. If you make videos, IGTV videos, I'm gonna actually go into Instagram story. If you make IGTV videos, you guys, you can actually create little um, cover photos here and they don't have any pre-made ones for IGTVs, but I do this for my client. Let me show you guys an example. Um, this is one of my clients that we do this for in Canva. Her name is Ines Franklin. This is her IGTV video from yesterday. It's called, Why Do You Call Me Good? at the top and the bottom and so notice on her feed it says why do you call me good you click on it and here is the uh the graphic that we created out of canva so the way and actually she she requests that she has her own canvas so we create all her content for her in her own canva and i don't want to 
violate anything of hers and log into her Canva or else I would show it to you guys. But basically what you do is let's just pretend I go into my color palette and let's just say I want my backgrounds to be this gray. So you're gonna go ahead and go into uploads and then you go into videos and notice there's all these random videos here that we've done for our clients that we've imported here. Um, and so you would take, let's just pretend, um, let's see what video I can take. So this is our, for our client Johnny's. Let's just say it's an IGTV video that's over one minute long. I actually can put this here and I can make it a video in Canva. And you know, you can make it bigger, smaller, you can crop it however you want. Let's just pretend this is an IGTV video and you can add text over it and you can say something like, you know, um, how to make pizza, <laughs> whatever. Cause this is a, it's our, it's our client that um, is a pizzeria and dive bar, you know, and let's just say it's a video about how to make pizza. And then underneath there, you're gonna, um, let's just say you wanna add, so I'm, I'm gonna say, you know what? I want the top and the bottom to look the same. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste. So now I have text that's the same size and everything. And then I'm gonna go ahead and write, you know, Johnny's Pizzeria. And so now, and just pretend this video is over a minute long, you can upload this as an IGTV. It has the text at the top and the bottom. You'll notice a lot of speakers and celebrities and people who are influencers. They upload videos into, uh, they upload IGTV videos that has writing at the top and bottom. You can also do reels like this. You can, up, you can make this the background. The only thing I have to tell you is, Test it out and make sure it fits the screen. You might have to come back into Canva a couple of times and move things around to make sure it fits the real screen properly. So that, so again, now this is what the video is gonna look like when you upload it, okay? And so here, notice that this is Inessa's IGTV video, but notice she has a cover photo. So what you're gonna do, you can also create a cover photo out of it. So you can just go ahead and click this little button. You can duplicate the page. And if you wanted to, let's just say you want to take this out. You can just make a cover photo. This is how to make pizza, Johnny's Pizzeria. And you would save this. So you can click download. You go to JPEG and you can save the second, second one as a JPEG. And so that way, let's pretend it's your IGTV video. You upload the IGTV video and you can upload this as a cover photo if you want it to look different on your feed. If you do reels, you can do that for reels too. You can do Instagram reels where um, you upload the reel, but you upload a cover photo on there and you can create your cover photos in here. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I think that that is very important. A lot of people do IGTV videos or reels and they wanna create cover photo for it. And so, um, so I just wanted to show you guys how to create an IGTV cover photo and video. So you, again, all you would do is you would go into upload and you would go to videos and you can upload your video to here and then you can put it into Canva and you can add text at the top and the bottom, save that. And you can also create a cover photo in Canva out of the same thing. Cool. Everything good. And then the last thing is how to make anything a reel. So how to make anything an Instagram reel. So here's something that I taught my team at Influence PRX. And we have been doing this for our clients. And let me tell you, it's been working. I will show you guys a couple examples of what it looks like. So this is our client, Kate. And, um, okay, so let me go into reels. We made this in Canva, Memorial Day, Remember and Honor. This is an Instagram reel. So instead of posting it as a graphic and reaching maybe 200 people and getting like 10 likes on it, we created this as a reel. And you can't see, but it has a Sam Hunt song on it. This is created, this is a reel. This is actually a reel that we created in Canva and we use an app called Mojo to add the text. So remember I told you guys that I always start off in Canva to create the branded content and then we import it into other apps to add other things. 
And then again, this is another story that we created. So instead of posting a graphic in Canva, we make it a reel because it reaches more people. And uh, here's another one again. This is created in Canva. All of this is created in Canva. And then we imported it to Mojo to add the text. And so if you look at her reels, this reel got 1,800 views. This Memorial Day reel got 2,200 views. This reel, a quote, got 2,200 views. If you post graphics, if you post things as a still graphic, so let's go back to some of her other posts. We created this in Canva for her. It got 25 likes, okay? But again, remember that it's not always about getting that maximum amount of likes. It is, that should be the goal, but sometimes we create strategic content to give information that's valuable and it, we don't care how much engagement it gets. What we care about is getting the message across so when new people come to her Instagram, they are seeing valuable content, even if it doesn't get a ton of engagement. So notice how this one got 25, but if you go into the reels, when we created it into reels, this one got 1860, this one got 2230, this one got 2260. So there's a lot of content here where when you convert it into from a graphic into a reel that you get more views. So I wanna show you guys how to do it. And here's another example. This is going to be Influence PRX. This is another example of reels. And remember, not every reel is going to be extra, extra, um, have a ton of engagement. Not every reel is gonna get, some reels get a lot of views and some reels won't. It doesn't matter. It's all about consistently posting content that is optimized for social media. So you're going to go into my reels and notice that some of it doesn't do well, but then once in a while, things come up to where it gets 1,700 views or it gets, this one gets 1,700 views. This is made in Canva, 1,700 views. Another one, 449 views, made in Canva. So I'm gonna show you guys how to create reels in Canva. So instead of, instead of just creating these, these um, graphics that are just stagnant or animated, now I'm gonna show you how to make it an Instagram reel. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on something that I've already made. And um, this, is, this is a cover photo. This is a cover photo that I created yesterday for my personal Instagram page. And I made this a cover photo for my IGTV video. So that way my, it makes my feed look a little bit more branded. And so let's pretend this is a post that I created. And I, instead of making it a square, I'm like, I'm gonna make it a reel so I can reach more people, okay? So what I'm gonna do, so let's pretend this is content that I created as a reel. Let's say I wanted to upload it. Let's say I said, you know what? I want to I want to post this, but I'm going to post it as a reel so I can get more views, more engagement, and so Instagram pushes my post more. So what I'm going to go do, this is the story size. So this is the Instagram story size in Canva. So I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to animate it, guys. I'm literally just going to animate it. Just by animating it, you get more views. Let me show you a good example of my client. My client was so happy that I did this for her. She was like, oh my God, good call. We created these quotes for her, right? And something told me, I was like, instead of posting this as a quote, let's post it as a reel. So notice she has these quotes, got 26 likes. Let's say that she has this one. It got 21 likes. And I told her, I said, let's, let's upload one of your quotes as a reel. You can tell I made this one a reel for her. If you go and look, it got 2,000 views. So making your quotes into a reel does increase your exposure. It increases your insights. When you check your insights, you'll notice that you reached way more people. The more people we reach, the more people we bring to our page, the more people that can come to our page, the more likely we are to get better branding, convert people into followers, into customers or clients. So all you do is you up, you create this as a reel and you just choose whatever you want it to be. So you can make it go like this, you can make it go like this, you can make it go like this, you can make it go like this. And I do suggest you guys that you do change this to anywhere between, uh, for a reel, anywhere between seven to 10 seconds. So that way people aren't like, oh my gosh, it just keeps flashing and I can't read it. 
so this is going to be a reel. So you literally just made a quote into a reel. Let's pretend that you want to, let's pretend that you have this post. I just click, I'm in the stories. So let me show you guys how I got here. I'm in home. Come on internet. Okay, I'll, it's okay. We don't have to save it. So let's just say, so this is how you create a reel in Canva out of quotes. You click on recommended for you. You go to Instagram story. <clears throat> and let's just say you're like, I want to create a reel. You can look, look through these and just look at what you can create as a reel. So I'm just going to choose, I'm going to say, you know what, this is centered. I feel like I can make this a reel. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And I'm going to make this my color. So I'll click on it and I'll say, okay, I'm going to make this black and white because those are my colors. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and add my logo on here. I'm going to go to folders. I'm going to go to where all my logos are saved. I'm going to go ahead and add the Influence PRX logo. Oops. Sorry, guys. I messed it up. I'm going to go, ah, okay, there we go. I'm going to add it down here. And then I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say, uh, let's see. Um, post to your story. So it'll be, let's just pretend, reminder, post. Let's just say that this would not probably not get a lot of engagement, guys, because it's not really teaching you anything. It's not really entertaining you. Um, it's just super random. It's not super inspiring. But let's just pretend that something super inspiring and helpful is right here. So I'm going to make this into a reel by animating it. So you click on animate, you click on breathe, this automatically converts it into a video or maybe stomp. So now when you upload as a reel, it just does that. You can increase this. See, that's what it's gonna look like. Again, increase it maybe to about 7.5. That way people don't feel like it just keeps going away. And you would just download it as an MP4 video download, and then you share it as a reel. Let's say you're making content for both Instagram and Facebook. Remember, you're going to go to resize. You're going to go create, you can make this an Instagram post. Instagram post can be the same size as a Facebook post. And then maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger. And then you would save this as a JPEG, and then it saves it as a still image. So remember, it is important to create content that's specific for the platform that you're posting to. So Instagram loves Reels, so we made a Reel. Facebook doesn't like these animated content, so we're saving it as a JPEG and posting it on Facebook as a still graphic. Cool? All right, and that's how you make anything, that's how you make anything a Reel. You can even go in, let's just say I want to add myself in there. I'll even add myself on there. Hey, real, sometimes reels get more engagement, right? If it has people in there. So maybe I'll just say, you know what? I want to make myself, I want to make myself a reel. Maybe that's what I want to do. So a reminder, put, this isn't totally ready to post, but remember, post the story. Maybe I want to animate it and upload it as a reel. So you can totally make anything into a reel, you guys, by using Canva and by optimizing, like I show you guys here, this is just a quote, but we upload it as a reel. And, um, and actually I can show you, cause I did that in my own Canva for her. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Canva and I'll show you guys. So next we are going to talk about what apps I use and I'm gonna show you guys that we'll probably only have about five to seven minutes for question and answers. Um, and so see here, I uploaded her quote into here and I literally just, I just downloaded it and I just saved it as an MP4 video. So for my client, she has a quote. I literally uploaded that quote to Canva and I just saved it as an MP4 video and I uploaded it to Canva as a reel and she got 2,000 views on it. She reached way more people. She got featured on the, 
explore page all because instead of posting it as a quote, I posted it as a reel and, and Instagram is really, really pushing out reels. But for her, I posted this as a still graphic on Facebook to get the most exposure for her. Cool. All right, you guys, this is so exciting. I'm having so much fun with you guys. So let me close out some of my windows. Next, we are going to be going into other apps I recommend. How's everyone doing? Everyone good? All right. So what we're going to be doing is going over apps I recommend. DJ, believe that. Joel is my favorite DJ, by the way, you guys. He DJs at Franx, and oh my gosh, he's amazing. Next time Franx posts about DJ Believe That, which is Joel, which just commented, um, I'm going to share it to my story because he's my favorite. He's so fun. So, okay, other apps I recommend. So right now we are going to talk about Mojo, High Type, and Luma Fusion in TikTok. I'm going to go through these in about... Perfect. So we totally have time. So this will take about five minutes. Can you explain the cover photo again? Kajia, yeah, I will explain that at the end. So thank you for asking. I don't know if you can, but if you can type it in the question and answer, that would be awesome. Because Robin just asked a question in there. Um, so please go in the question and answer to ask your question. Cool, I didn't even know that we had that feature on here. So apps I recommend. So I recommend, number one, I recommend Mojo. Let me show you guys. So Mojo makes Instagram stories, videos, and animated photos. So I'm gonna give you guys an example of um, what Mojo does. So, okay, let me see what I was gonna show you guys from Joe. Yes, okay, so if you go Instagram.com, Kate Nash Holmes. I'm going to go ahead and go into her reels. So in, so what we did for her is we created this, this graphic in Canva, but this text that's scrolling, we imported that into Mojo. Mojo is an app where it has so many types of flashing text, text, scrolling text, um, you also can add gifts on your post. And let me show you another client. This is another client that we use Mojo for him uh, for their bakery a lot. Um, let me, I had just made a, this one is made in Mojo. So you can just upload your images on here and it adds flashing text, moving text. Um, let me see what else I added. This one I made in Mojo, it has GIFs in there. It has flashing text that's really cool and creative. This was made in um, Mojo. So we imported a video that we took on our iPhone into Mojo and we added all of these banners and all of these texts to it. Mojo is so easy to use, you guys. This is another one I created in Mojo. It's just a high res image I imported into Mojo and I added this flashing text. See how this text is scrolling like that? That's a Mojo thing. And this is a reel that we created, but you can create reels in Mojo as well. So you upload the iPhone video into Mojo and then you can add these little scrolling texts and it allows you to time it when you want it to come up. And for this client, we added all the different flavors and we uploaded it as a reel on, in Mojo. And in Mojo, you can make them square, you can make it real size. You can, so notice that Mojo allows you to import video and it also it allows you to import still photos um, like I did here. This is another one I created in Mojo. So this is what Mojo does. It has a lot of amazing creative, see how it says Custer Ponchis, order online, and then it says link in bio. And so this is another, another example of what Mojo does. So Mojo is great for making Instagram stories, videos, and animated photos. And again, a lot of times we'll create something in Canva and then upload it to Mojo if we want to add flashing text and GIFs and stuff like that. High type, 
This is available for iPhone only. High type is so you can add, you can create Instagram stories and posts with any song that you want. Any song. You can add um, Beyonce. Uh, you can add, um, <laughs> why can't I think the singers? Lil Wayne. <laughs> you can add um, any, any song that you want. Um, I don't even know, Sam Hunt. You can add literally any artist, any song, 15 seconds. It gives you 15 seconds of that song and you could add any song that you want to it. You, you can also do this through Instagram stories. So if you're really into music and you love music, then you can use high type to add music to your posts, to your stories, and you can even make it into an Instagram reel. And it allows you to add flashing text too. So when you buy high type on your iPhone, it's not available to Android. When you buy high type on your iPhone, you can make Instagram stories and posts with any song you want. If you don't want the lyrics, a hack is download high type and type in the song that you like and type in the word instrumental. And it's going to only bring the beat of that song. Pretty cool. So you can type in like Pharrell Williams happy instrumental and it'll just put the music and no words. So high type is amazing because when people are scrolling and their volume is up and a song they like, they're gonna be like, how did you add that song to it? And yeah, reels, you can add whatever song you want. But as a post, as a square post on Instagram, you can add whatever song you want to it. So high type is awesome. Last but not least, I, everyone asks us how we edit our videos. We either use, um, we usually will start off by editing it in LumaFusion or TikTok, and then we import it in, in Mojo if we want to add text to it. So LumaFusion and TikTok is an amazing video editor, you guys. I'm going to show you an example of a video that we just made using, um, using LumaFusion. By the way, we created this in Canva. Pretty cool, right? We created that in Canva. Um, we created this in Hype Type. If you listen to it, it actually has um, a popular song on there that we use Hype Type for. Um, this uh, Mojo, this actually, this was created in Canva and then we import it in Mojo to add the flashing graphic. This is created. Um, in Mojo, you adding that little graphic. This is created in Canva. So this is created in LumaFusion. This video just hit over 5,000 views. And notice that the, the video uh, LumaFusion allows you to fast forward. It allows you to do different cuts and transitions, make it go faster, make it go slower. People on Instagram don't wanna sit there and, and watch the same thing over and over again um, that's long and drawn out. Um, this is a reel that we created in LumaFusion that got them a lot of views. Where is it? Where is the video? Where is the video? This one got 234,000 views for our client. And this is another one that we created on LumaFusion and TikTok. So first we created on LumaFusion and we sped it up. That's why you're noticing that it's going fast. There's music in the background, which you can't hear. And the little turn is on TikTok. So we usually will edit it in LumaFusion and then we will put it in TikTok to add further transitions and then upload it as a reel. So this reel got over 5,000 likes, 234,000 views. So LumaFusion and TikTok is our go-to for video editing. Other than that, question and answer and thank you. We totally are ending on time. Even though I thought we would have four minutes, 20 minutes for question and answer, we got four minutes for question and answer, but it's good. Doesn't look like we have a lot of questions. If you have questions, please go ahead and um, leave it in the question and answer and I will answer. Um, but other than that, I will be emailing you guys this deck so you have it. And I will also send you guys a link to watch this video again if you want to watch it again. And, um, and the question here, Robin said, is it best to use Canva on your laptop instead of your phone? The thing I love about Canva 
is you can use it on your phone and you can use it on your computer. I always use Canva on my computer. I do such a more amazing job creating content. I'm so much more precise. My content looks better, but I love, I download Canva on my phone because I love being able to go in and do edits. When I don't feel like being on my computer, yes, I create content on Canva, but I love creating content on my computer because it's so much easier. So answer live. You would like to answer this question live. Okay, done. Okay, so it looks like I just uh, notated that I answered it. And then um, Kajia said, can you explain the cover photo again? So the cover photo, and then she said, how do you create a highlight cover? Great question. So go ahead and go into home and I'll answer both questions for you. She's asking, how do you create a highlight cover? So she's talking about these, our menu, cocktails, events and specials, customers, Dodgers, contests. These are our clients. Uh, highlight covers. I'm also in Magix 10, which is our other client. And this is uh, the cover photos that we created for them in Canva. So that's what Kajia is asking. She's saying, how do you create cover photos? So in Canva, oh, I'm so excited that you asked me this. I need to add that to my presentation. So thank you for telling me that. Um, so here you're going to go into, um, so go ahead and just search Canva and type in Instagram highlights. It says Instagram story highlight cover. So you're going to click on that. Ta -da! Pretty cool, right? So here you can see a bunch of different options. And these are great starting points. Like you can just keep it simple. And let's just say you're like, actually, this is one of the it's funny, because this is what I used for magic so i know it might not look like it but this came from this and i just ended up taking away this taking away this and then you can make the background gray or you can make the background pink you can make this you can click on it and you can make this white you can say uh work or you can say posh posh mark i know there's a lot of poshers here so that's how you create cover photos. And if you like this one, you literally can just duplicate it and duplicate it and duplicate it. And you can play around with it. What I did for Magix is, and I want to acknowledge it's, it's 11 o'clock. If you need to get off, um, it, it is ending now. So now we've gone into question and answer. If you need to log off, feel free to log off, but I'll finish up these uh, questions that we have. And so if you want to add little pictures in here, you can click on elements. And, um, and let's say like here for Magix because they're a brand before and after. So I think on this one, I typed in wand. Oops. I typed in wand and then I can take out this and then I can put this here. So I made it a little wand. And then let's just say I don't want it that color, so I'll make the one gray. And so that's how you make it. Cool. So that's how you create highlight covers. Again, you can just go into home. You can go into search Canva. You can create Instagram story. You can type in Instagram story highlight cover, and it, it shows you all of these pre-created highlight covers. And in addition to that, Kajia asked, can you explain the cover photo again? You guys can even create cover photos out of, out of this section. Cover photos are um, basically, if you have, this is another example is for our client Magix 10. This is an Instagram TV video. It's a five minute long video um, about our client's line. And I uploaded it to their IGTV, but I didn't want this to be um, I didn't want this video to be what was on the feed. So instead I created this graphic in Canva and you can probably see it in here because I created it in our Canva, all your designs. You're amazing, congrats, great, great job. I'm hopping on my client call, so proud of you. Talk more soon. Bye Ashley Moon, at Ashley Moon. She is amazing. Um, so as you can see here, I'm gonna scroll down. This is the cover photo that I created for our client. So notice here I have 
this IGTV video. I uploaded it as an IGTV video, but I didn't want this to show up on my feed. I wanted the feed to be more curated. So I created this and I, I created this. I went down, so I uploaded this picture. I added a little square. I put about magic 10 and I'm gonna go ahead and download it as a JPEG. And that's it. And so when I'm uploading it, for example, I'll show you guys how this works. You go to IGTV, you go to upload, you can do this from your phone or your computer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and upload um, this video that was for my client yesterday. So let's just, I'm gonna download my client's devotional video and I'm gonna go ahead and click edit. And then let's just pretend this is the cover photo for it. And you can actually upload a cover photo. So never at any point do you see this, and I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of it. Do you, at no point do you ever see the cover photo in it. Notice that when you go to the feed, that this is what's on the cover photo. Um, but when you click on it, it's the video, but never at any point does the cover photo show. Awesome. So that is what a cover photo is, and you can create it in this size because this is what size the cover photo should be. So other than that, everybody, we are coming to an end. I want to say thank you very much, everybody, for attending today. I am going to go ahead and let this video download, and I will send you the presentation along with this webinar. So thank you so much, everybody. And if you can go ahead and just drop a comment below and let me know what you thought. Let me know if you enjoyed this webinar. Let me know something that you learned. It would be amazing. I would love to hear your guys' feedback. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for joining. I had such a great time spending this time with you guys, being a part of your morning and your day if you're on the East Coast. Um, I'll go ahead and put this little thank you. So thank you so much, you guys, for being a part of this. And if you guys have any special requests for um, topics that you want me to do a webinar about, if you have any questions about this webinar, send me a direct message. You'll see here it says DM me with any questions at Tanya Kara. If you're on Canva, um, if you don't know what you're doing, if you feel like you need help, please send me a direct message on Instagram, Tanya Kara underscore. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you guys. And because I really, really appreciate you guys signing up for this webinar. It has been so amazing seeing my vision turn into a reality. And the fact that people actually signed up and attended makes me so happy. So thank you as a thank you for signing up and being a part of my first ever webinar. I would like to offer you free help. So use it, DM me. You can see at the bottom of the screen, it says to direct message me at Tanya Kara. And that will be my thank you to you guys for helping me make my vision a reality and actually signing up. So that way I'm not just sitting here like, oh, I did a webinar, no one's here. So thank you so much. If you are in my Clubhouse community, let's grow. I just want to reiterate that we are now only doing rooms on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 8.15 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I am so sorry I didn't give you guys advance notice, but we had some uh, issues come up with moderators and we had to scale back and I just had to run the rooms on the days that I can run the rooms. Um, so I appreciate you guys being a part of Let's Grow, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 8.15 a.m. And if you're not on Clubhouse, join Clubhouse and come to my room. We create content, we post it, and then we come into the room, and we all leave likes and comments on each other's posts on Instagram. So it's a great place to go. Uh, so tomorrow morning, 8.15 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, download Clubhouse, search Tanya Kara in the search button, you'll see my room come up, let's grow, and you can join the clubhouse room. Kadia said, create more webinars, please. Oh, I will, because I had so much fun today. Regina said, thank you so much, this is amazing. Sandra said, you did amazing. Marissa said, you're awesome, thank you. Sandra said, the camera's gonna be fun, but I'm definitely going to need help. Sandra, message me, and I'm here to help. Kadia said, thank you so much, we learned a lot, love you, love you. Great info, love how you can do a reel on Canva, awesome.
Will you be emailing this to us? Yes, I will be emailing this to you guys. Thank you so much, Tanya. Great info as always. You're welcome, Simon. Thank you for coming. I can't wait to try the apps and the IGTV. Thank you, Tanya. I learned a lot. Thank you so much, Tanya. I'm excited to try these tips. Oh my gosh, you guys are so awesome. I'm so happy. So great. Thanks so much, sis. Thank you, Cassie, for coming. And Terry Lynn said, I have to go. Thank you for this amazing webinar. And thank you so much. You're so talented. We'll message you for sure. I'm excited. Yes, help, help. Yes, more webinars. Thank you guys so much. Stay tuned. I will plan my next webinar and let you guys know what it's about. Other than that, love you guys. Happy Tuesday. Have a great day. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning on Clubhouse. If not, I will see you on the gram. Bye, everybody. Don't ask me how I end this. <laughs> ending, ending webinar. All right. Bye, everybody.